Hey guys, this video is a part of a series where I'll be solving all the questions of the interview preparation kit on HackerRank using Python. If you're preparing for your interviews or learning to code as a beginner, then do subscribe to my channel for a lot of content in the tech and programming space. I will be regularly adding content to this playlist. So if you're preparing for interviews, save this playlist in your YouTube library. It will help you a lot. So with that, let's start with today's question, which is a part of the warm up challenges called jumping on clouds okay so emma is playing a new mobile game that starts with consecutively numbered clouds some of the clouds are thunderheads and others are cumulus she can jump on any cumulus cloud having a number that is equal to the number of the current cloud plus one or two so she can only jump one cloud ahead or two clouds ahead not more than two okay she must avoid the thunderheads Determine the minimum number of jumps it will take Emma to jump from her starting position to the last cloud. It is always possible to win the game. Okay, so there will never be three continuous thunder thunderheads, right? Because otherwise it won't be possible for her to win the game. For each game, Emma will for each game, Emma will get an array of clouds numbered zero if they are safe or one if they must be avoided. For example, this is the example. So Emma can jump from 0 to 1, then she can jump here or here, and then she can jump here. So I think she would jump from here, then she would skip the 4th one, land on 5th and then on the 7th, right? Because that would be the minimum number of steps. So yeah, so she can go from 0 to 4, 6 or 0 to 3, 4, 6, but like 3 is the short one, right? So this is a function description question where only the array of like zeros and ones is provided to us. Okay. So before I go to the solution, I would suggest that you try this question by yourself. Link is in the description below. Do try it out. Let's look at the example questions. Okay. So here the size is seven. And so before we even try to code, let's just try to jump from here. Okay. So she could jump from here then skip this jump here skip this right so four steps okay cool over here as well she could jump from here then jump here and here or jump from here and then on this one and this one right anything works so let's get started with the code so first i would initialize a variable called jump to zero to keep a track of the jumps that we're making right then um okay so uh like here most of the times when i solve such questions i've noticed one thing that now since emma can make one or two jumps when she's on the second last index of the array right uh sometimes the jump could go out of bounds if there's a zero or a one on the next one because she would assume that she wants to jump so for being safe, we could append a one ahead. Okay. This is done so that she like, uh, she does not go out of the array index range, right? So after this, we can return. Okay. So we can have a base case ready. So if length of C is less than three, then, uh, return zero, right? Because she can directly land on the first two, first two clouds. So now while we can have a for loop here. So while i is less than length of c. Okay, we can uh, have one index behind. Okay, two indexes behind because then directly we already have added one extra index one here, right? So we can start from two spaces behind because she would be jumping two spaces ahead. So while this is the condition, if the array index okay so if two spaces ahead is vacant then emma could directly jump there right so basically we're skipping one step here and making the code faster because see the fastest way would be from jump from zero to two right so if this space is available here why do we even want to check if zero to one is possible or not right so we are just making this a little bit faster here so if this is vacant then we do this else we like jump one step now we could have had a condition to check this first but since over here in the question they've said that um, where is it 
that it is always possible to win a game so she always has to make a jump which is one step or two steps ahead so that's why i'm directly putting an else statement here so after this is done we just add a jump yeah that's it because once like they reach she reaches the final index it's done and the reason why this is one and not zero is because if this was zero she could have jumped on that as well right so to avoid that we're just having this here okay so let's run the code and check if it works or not i think it should work so here the most important thing is that sometimes people would like um not put this condition here where she can directly land on the second step and get error in a few cases maybe or uh i think this is pretty obvious like this was a relatively easy question right because she has to jump two or one there is no other else statement since it said that emma always wins okay so i got a runtime error here uh oh right i'm sorry uh i forgot to initialize i right yeah now i think it should work yep i think it should work now yep it works great thank you for watching hope you liked it i'm going to cover all questions from this series and more if this helped you please like this video as it helps me reach a greater audience and also motivates me to make more videos subscribe to my channel for more see you in the next one